Hi there, I'm Ms. Arcastic, and in this video episode, I'm going to talk about how to help your child get ideas for making art. So let's grab something to write with and something to write on to take some notes, and let's make some art. <music> my absolute favorite and it's called adjectives and noun popsicle sticks so what I really love to do so I discovered this by actually doing this for my youtube channel trying to think about different ways to get ideas and make them super fun so and and these this this technique honestly generates the most ideas for me and the funniest things that I do on my YouTube channel and so this is why I like to share it out because if I'm having this much fun imagine how much fun kids will have so you're gonna grab a pack of popsicle sticks and you're gonna split it in half and get two jars or two cans whatever you have in your recycling bin on one half of them you're going to write different adjectives and on the other half you're going to write different nouns and then you can pull them out so you could go creepy couch or you can, if you pull out the same noun you might have um, Let's think, fluffy couch or um, fluffy unicorn. It could be slimy carrot, whatever it is, whatever adjectives you have. And that could be a great lesson in itself, right? Like, oh, let's come up with different adjectives, right? Now, we're gonna come up with different nouns. You could talk about what adjectives and nouns are together, and then you have that. But now you're gonna turn it into your prompts for drawing or making art. So today, we're gonna pull out some popsicle sticks. We're gonna pull out one adjective, it is um, green, and the other one is a uh, banana, which I guess is normal. That's a terrible example. I'm making it up on top of my head. Green cat. All right, now we gotta draw a green cat, but I like to do things that are fun, right? Like slimy or prickly, prickly cat. That's what has sparked more ideas in my head than green cat. It's just a green cat. And honestly, I'm looking at a green cat on my shelf over there. <laughs> a stuffy. <laughs> um, which is normal. Anyways, <laughs> so a prickly cat though, well now I got lots of different ideas or bumpy bird, how fun is that? I'm like, what is a bumpy bird? And I'm thinking about all the different ways I might draw a bumpy bird. I'm not being specific about what it looks like or giving any other details. It's not even a full sentence. It's just two words and it makes ideas. It sparks ideas in our imagination. All right, number two is to go out on some outdoor adventures. I think going outside to draw and create really well one it's good for for our bodies and our minds it energizes us it gets us outside and enjoying nature get the sun on our face but also that seems to really spark creativity for me and ideas um, i often take my grab and go uh, sketchbook and the drawing materials just a miniature sketchbook but you can just say grab something to draw on and something to draw with and you're going to go outside and find some a spot either on the grass to sit or at a picnic bench or it could be on your balcony or your patio it doesn't matter wherever you want to go if you want to go to the park you can if you don't just do whatever makes sense for you you do you and then you're going to draw and they can either draw something they see outside a leaf they see a bug whatever they see or they could just draw whatever comes to mind either option is great and you can try doing one day you're going to go out to go do plein air painting on watercolors and the next day you're just going to draw from your imagination or you're going to do some sketching of what you might see you're just going to go outside on some outdoor adventure to outdoor adventures together and have some fun enjoy the moment and just let the creativity naturally flow Number three is to do some photography prompts. So stage one is you're going to go around, you're gonna snap some pictures with your device, whatever, if it's a camera, you can use that. If it's just a phone, that's fine too. It doesn't matter, these take great pictures and it's just for a prompt. And then you're gonna print them out so you guys can go around together, practice taking pictures that are from above, from below, really close, far away, different styles of photography, right? So now we're bringing photography into this. And then you're going to print them off. It doesn't matter if they're black and white, if they're color, whatever you can do. That's cool. You can put like multiple on a page if you can do that. Um, maybe you want to try using Canva or just Microsoft Word and just sticking multiple on a page. And then you're going to cut them up, put them in a container or an envelope, and then you can pull that out as a prompt. And then you can use that either as a as an image starter, right? You can glue it on a paper and then finish the picture around it. Um, you can do that, uh, use it as a as prompt for ideas. Like, oh, I'm gonna use this image as a prompt instead of a sentence starter and they can do something to reflect that or, or they can try drawing it. 
however you want to use it. Um, you can use it as a prompt to spark some ideas. Number four is you can grab my free guide. It is full of art projects for the year. So for art projects and ideas for the year. It has some art tutorials, it has some drawing tutorials, it has um, art prompts, it has drawing prompts, it has um, art prompt pages and scavenger hunts, all kinds of things to give you tons of ideas for drawing throughout the year, so they're through the seasons. So you can check it out um, by scanning the QR code on the screen to grab my free guide, and that will give you tons of ideas that if you're free PDF, you can either keep it on your device or print it out, whatever you want, and then you'll have access to that as inspiration for creating at home. Oh yes. And then number five is to take some art lessons. So there's a couple options. One is you can take some in-person lessons if you have multiple children and you'll have to take that into consideration um, for the cost, right? Because that will go up if you're enrolling, you know, multiple kids at an art studio. And you can usually find them at local art studios or at your community center. Sometimes they offer them as well or you can find art lessons online. Now I do offer art lessons online at artastickids.com. They are my, there's my online streaming art lesson membership there that has the lowest costs on the entire internet for art lessons. It offers you, once you're a member, an entire library of various art lessons under different themes with one, just one, membership or just one account for the entire family. So that means one membership for the entire family. Everybody can use it and you can use it unlimited. So whether you're, you know, doing just two a month, two art lessons a month, that's fine. If you want to do a hundred, that is fine too. There you're going to have hundreds of art lessons to choose from at various levels. So your children or your child can pick a just right level from them. So have like an easier level, a medium level, and a harder level art lesson. And of course, I'm gonna have various different themes, but I'm gonna have the elements of art. I'm gonna have, um, I have the elements of art, I have trending topics, I have um, plants and landscapes, I have insects, I have food as a topic, things that go, holidays and seasons, and so much more. It is so fun and we're using just four simple art mediums to create so you don't have to go buy all these different things. It's just wax crayons, oil pastels, watercolor paints, and felt markers. And I'm going to teach you how to use those in incredible ways, all at Artastic Kids Online Streaming Art Membership. And if you want to learn more, you're going to scan the QR code on the screen and it'll take you to Artastic Kids, or you can find the link to the Artastic Kids online streaming membership in the description of the video. Thank you so much for watching. My question for you this episode is what questions do you have about making art at home? And you can respond in the comments of the video and I will personally respond to you and help you out there. Your next video to watch is how to prep art supplies faster and you can watch that by clicking the link above or in the description of this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please make sure you like and subscribe to the channel to help me grow my channel and help me get to my goal of 10,000 subscribers or 100,000 subscribers. That would be so exciting and I would really appreciate your help and support. It allows me to continue to make these videos for you. Uh, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next episode.